Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I work for the San Francisco Public Library. And today I'm gonna to go over Google Slides. So the agenda for today is I'm gonna go over what is Google Slides, what is needed to use Google Slides, where to get Google Slides, how to navigate the Google Slides web portal, how to load a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation into Google Slides, how to create a quick presentation using Google Slides, uh, saving your presentations, storage options, how to share your presentations with others, and the differences between Google Slides and Microsoft PowerPoint. So what is Google Slides? So Google Slides is a online presentation program where you get to create and format slideshow presentations. It is cloud-based, so all your slides are kind of saved to your Google Drive account. You get to collaborate with others since it is cloud-based. And of course, you need a Google account to utilize this um, platform. And you can access this through a computer or an app or on your smartphone or tablet. And you might be asking, why would you need to use Google Slides? So let's say you go to school and you have like a topic that you need to present. You could use Google Slides to create a slideshow presentation and you could present your topic like, like that. If you are working and you uh, have like a task where they want you to present a topic as well too. So you will create a slideshow presentation using Google Slides and present it to your fellow coworkers or your boss. So what is needed? So a Google account is needed to use the Google Slides platform. And if you have an account already, such as a Gmail account, then you would just have to sign into that account and you would have access to the Google Slides platform. So if you take a look on the right-hand side of your screen right here, if you go to Google Slides, they will ask you for your email right here and you will hit next and you will be able to sign in and you enter in your password. So if you don't have a Google account, you can always sign up for a Gmail account, which is free. Uh, you will click on the create account link right, right here on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Then afterwards you enter your information and you will be able to sign up and log in to uh, the Google Slides platform and create your slideshow presentations. If you prefer not to create a Gmail account, you could sign up for a Google account, but you could use your existing email from another provider. So if you have a Yahoo email or a Hotmail email or iCloud email, then you, you could use that to sign up for a Google account and you could use Google Slides like that. So where would you get Google Slides? So if you wanna use Google Slides on your Android device, then you would go to the Google Play Store and you would type in Google Slides, you will locate it and you will download the Google Slides app. If you want to use Google Slides on your iPhone or iPad, then you will go to the Apple App Store, you will type in Google Slides and you will download the app to your device and you would be able to use it. If you want to use Google Slides on the web portal or on your computer, like a desktop or a laptop, then you will go to your browser on your device. You will go to the address bar. Then you will type in google.com slash slides or slides.google.com. So there are multiple ways of getting to Google Slides on, uh, on like your computer, on your browser. But then the easiest way would be to go to your browser, locate the address bar, and type in one of these addresses in there. So you will go to your computer, like a desktop or a laptop, and this is your screen. You'll type in google.com slash slides or slides.google.com, and you should be able to get to the login page where you enter in your email and your password, or if you don't have an account, then you will go to the create account, create account link and create a brand new account. Then you will be able to utilize the Google Slides platform. So now I'm gonna go to the Google Slides platform on my computer right now. I'm gonna exit out of this screen right here. And since I'm already using the Google Slides platform to present to you right now, I'm gonna not log in. So it's, I'm already logged in. Okay. So once you log into Google Slides, you have an account already, this is what you will see on your screen. This is kind of like the main page before you get to actually working on a slideshow presentation. So right now what you're seeing is there's this section right here and there's this section right here. So right here, it's kind of like the template gallery. So let's say you want to create a slideshow presentation and you want to start from scratch. So the 
the option to create a blank presentation, which is right here on the left-hand side of your screen. It's kind of like an icon with like a plus sign with multiple colors in it. You will click on this and you will be able to create a brand new blank presentation. But let's say you don't want to start from scratch. You want to start from like a template. So these are the templates that are already pre-made and they're in your account. So you get to choose any one of these and you will click on the template gallery link right here on the right-hand side. It's going to expand the template gallery. And you can scroll down, you can see what's kind of available. So there are already pre-made presentations that are for personal use, general presentations for work, say for school, for education. So you would choose any one of these. If you want to create a quick presentation that's already uh, formatted, there's like a background, there's font colors, and you don't have to change anything except for inserting your own information. So I'm going to click on one of these so you can see what it looks like. So let's say I want to use this one right here. So I will use my mouse, I'll hover over it, and I'm gonna click on this, and it is gonna bring me to the next page, which is my blank or like my pre-made presentation. So this is the template, and this is the pre-made already. So all I have to do is go in here, and delete some information, enter in my own information. I can insert videos, images. I can delete some text and I can make it like my own presentation and I can use this to present my information. But for today, I'm gonna go over how to create a quick presentation uh, from scratch. So I wouldn't be using a template. So for me to go back, I have to locate the, this icon right here on the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's the slides home icon. I'll click on it and it will bring me back to this screen right here. And I would have more options right here on where to go. So before I create a new blank presentation, I'm gonna go over what's actually on your screen right now. So we looked at this section right here, but there is this section near the bottom right here. So this is where all your slides are gonna live. So if you create any slideshow presentation using Google Slides and it's automatically saved to your account, it's gonna live here. And also if anyone uses Google Slides and they share their presentation with you, and you open their presentation with your account, they will live here as well too. So your presentations live here and other people's presentation live here if they share it with you. So if you locate this link right here, it says owned by anyone. It's kind of in the middle top part of your screen. So you can click on the little triangle next to it and it's gonna give me a drop down menu like this and you have the option of sorting. So right now the selected option is owned by anyone. So I can select owned by me and it's only gonna show the presentations that I have created by myself or not owned by me. So presentations that have been created by someone else and they have shared it with me. So I'm gonna click on this option right here. So these are the presentations that are owned by someone else. So this is my other account. So I just shared it with this account so you can see like what it looks like. So this is owned by someone else, but let's say I go back here. This is owned by anyone, which is right here. So, these are my presentations and this is like someone else's presentation. So for you to tell, uh, the quick way is to go to the title of the presentation and you look to the right of the title. And if it is shared, you would see this icon right here. It kind of looks like two people. So if this icon is here, it means that this presentation is shared. It is either shared with someone else or someone else has shared it with you. And you would go to the middle of the page right here. So if, if it has your name or it, it says me, then it means that you own this presentation and you have shared it with someone else. But if it has someone else's name, then it means that someone else has shared this presentation with you and uh, they own it. So you will ha only have access to it if they allow you to. They can always kind of unshare and you won't have access in the future. So that's like a quick way of telling who owns this presentation and if it is shared by you or someone else. So the next thing I'm gonna go over is uh, the different file types within Google Slides. So de by default, uh, if you create a new presentation, the defaulted format would be the Google Slides format. But if you have, let's say a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation already created uh, from somewhere else or on a different computer, and you wanna load it to your Google Slides account, you could do that as well. So let's scroll down and we can find a PowerPoint presentation file. So right here, all of these icons right here, it's an indication on what kind of format this presentation is in. So it is in the Google Slides format presentation. But if you look here, the P 
it's indicated that this is a Microsoft PowerPoint file. So it's gonna display up here right here. And if you look at the file extension of your title, it says .pptx. So this tells you that this is a Microsoft PowerPoint file and you can always load it to your Google Slides account and you can edit that file there as well too. And later today, I'm gonna to go over how to kind of convert your files. So if you wanna convert your Microsoft PowerPoint files to the Google Slides format, you can always do that as well too. And I will go over that, that later on today. So for now, I'm gonna sc scroll back up to the page right here and I'm gonna create a new blank uh, slideshow presentation. So if you go to the left-hand side right here and you locate this icon right here, it's the blank option. So I'll click on this and it's gonna create a brand new slideshow presentation that's blank on my account. And it should bring you to this page right here. So this is kind of what you will be working with. So this is kind of like the main page of everything that you'll do to your slideshow presentation. So the first thing you should do is you will go to the top left-hand corner of your screen, which is right here and you locate this box right here. This is your title. So you will click anywhere within the box and it's gonna select the pre-made title already. So usually it's untitled presentation and it's gonna highlight that. You will use the backspace on your keyboard and you're gonna erase that and you're gonna name your presentation file. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna name it hello. And if I'm happy with that, I'll hit enter and it's gonna save it. So now this file is named and you will be able to move on. So if you look on your screen right here, this bar right here, these are kind of like the most commonly used functions that you might use to kind of edit and create your slideshow presentation. So not all the functions are here, only the most commonly used ones are. So you will go here, you will use your mouse, you hover over one of these icons and it will give you like a name of what's the function. So for instance, this one's new slide, this one's text box, this one's a line, this one's shape. So these are like the most commonly used functions that you might use. And if you wanna use more that's not on here, you go above here to this bar right here and you click on any of these and you should be able to find a function that you might need. So like right here, insert, insert chart, diagram, word art, formatting, slide, arrange, tools. So some of these, these options will not live on this bar right here. So they will live here. So you have to locate them here. So now we're gonna start and create uh, your slides for your presentation file. So if you look on the left-hand side right here, this is where like all your slides will live, like on the screen. So I have one slide right here. So it's gonna be an indication to the left. So this is one. So I could create one, two, three, four, five, I have 10, I could have 20. So it really depends on uh, how much information you have and how much you wanna present. So I would want to add a new slide. So I'll locate this uh, icon right here. It's kind of like a plus sign. And if I hover over, it says new slide. So if I click on it, it's gonna create a new slide. But if I go to the right and locate the little triangle, I'll click on it. It's gonna give me all these options. So each slide in your slideshow presentation uh, should have like a format or like a layout. So usually the layout is the first slide will be like your title slide. So you have a title uh, name and like a subtitle. So it's already in the title slide right here. So I want to create a second slide. So let's say I want the second slide to have title only. I'll select this right here. Or if I want a title and two columns, I'll select this option right here. Or if I want a title and a body, I'll select this option right here. So it really depends on what uh, the information you want to present is and which layout did, that you want to select. But if I want a blank like a slide, then I'll select this option right here, blank. So right now I'm going to select title and body, which is right here. I'll click on this and it's gonna be created. So you see there's a number two right here. This is my second slide. So I will create a new slide. I'll, I'll go back to the icon right here. I'll click right here and I'll select a blank slide, which is right here. I'll select blank. So I have three slides. So now I'm gonna go back here and create a new slide. So I'm gonna select title only, which is right here. So now I have four slides. So one, two, three, four. So let's say I don't like this view right here. Uh, if you, I go down to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, right here, it says film strip view. So this is how you view like in film strip view, but then if you wanna view in a different format, you would go to 
at the right of that icon, you click on grid view, which is right here. So I'm gonna click on that. And it's gonna change how I view the slides. So all of this will be the grid view option. So you, you might like this or you might not like this at all. You go back to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. You will select this icon right here. So it will bring you back to film strip view. And it's gonna look like this. So now I'm gonna start uh, creating my slides for my slideshow presentation. So I'll start with my first slide, which is right here. I'll click on it and it's gonna be an indication. So it's gonna highlight this like an orange color. So it means that it is selected. And once you select this, your working plane will be in the middle of your screen right here. So you can add a title and a subtitle. So to change your title, you'll click anywhere in this rectangle box right here. And if you click on it, it's gonna highlight it in kind of like a bluish color. So this is an indication that you have selected this box and you can enter in your information. So my title would be, let's say, puppies. And if I'm happy, I'll hit enter or I'll click anywhere outside of the box. And it's gonna unselect the box and now I have my title. I'll do the same for the subtitle. I'll click anywhere in the box right here. It's gonna highlight it in blue color. I'll type in the subtitle. So usually the subtitle is um, like the name of who's presenting the presentation or like the organization that you're associated with. So once you're done, you click anywhere outside the box and now you have a title and subtitle. So notice that uh, the background kind of looks kind of bad because there is no color to it or no picture to it. So I want to change the background. So I will go to the middle top part of the screen right here. I'll locate the background option right here and I'll click on it. So I could change my background to um, look various things. So I could change the color of the background. I could change it to image. So the first option is color. So if I go here, color, and I'll go to the right here, I'll click on anywhere here. It's gonna give me this option right here. I could change the background to a solid color or a gradient color. So let's say I wanna change it to, let's say this color right here. So if you use your mouse and you hover over it, you get to see the name of the color. So this is light yellow. I'll click on that. And it's going to change that one slide to this color. So if you look to the left right here, it's kind of like a shaded, but it's changed one slide. So let's say I want to change it to all the slides. So I will choose add theme or add to theme right here. And it's going to change it to all the slides right here. So that's how you would kind of change the background to like all your slides. But let's say you don't like the color or you want to uh, have like an image to the background. So you will go here to the second option right here, image and choose image. So once you click on that, you have a couple of options. So you can upload an image from your device. If you have a camera on your device, you could take an image, uh, like a photo from there and you can use that image for the background. If you locate like an image from a website and you have the URL, you would select this option right here, buy URL and you enter in the URL, and that's gonna pull that image into your Google Slides slide. Or let's say you have an image in your Google Photos account. You'll select the Photos option right here, and you can pull an image from Google Photos. Or if you have an image in your Google Drive account, you'll select this option right here for Google Drive, and it'll pull the image from Google Drive. And let's say you don't have an image at all, and you just wanna search for a brand new image. You can select this option right here, Google Image Search, it will go to Google image, image and you could, will be able to search for a brand new image and pull that into your Google Slides presentation. Okay, so you will select any one of these. So I'm not gonna select it today. So I'll hit the X button right here on the right-hand side. And let's say I'm done. So I'll hit done. And now I have a background for all my slides. But let's say I still don't think it looks good. So I could go to the theme option, which is right here. I'll click on that and this should appear. So it's kind of already defaulted uh, to show you, but let me hit X right here to close it off and I'll hit theme again. So once you hit this, this should appear right here. So this is kind of like the pre-made formatting for your slides. So you could kind of scroll through and see like which one would you like. So you could select uh, any one that you think looks good. So 
So let's say I want uh, I want this one right here. So I will click on it. And it's going to change all my backgrounds and my formatting and my font color and my text size to this theme right here. So it's going to be indicated on the left-hand side of your screen right here. And let's say you're happy with it. So if you're happy, you hit the X right here and you exit out. If you're not happy, you could choose a different one on your screen right here and you'll click on any one of these. So I'm going to hit X. And now I have kind of like a background to all of these right here. So now I'm going to start by creating my slideshow presentation. So I already have like a title page. So I'll move on to the second slide, which is right here. So I'm going to add a title. I'll click anywhere in the box. So I'm going to do that. And I'll hit anywhere outside the box. And I have a title already. So I already have like a text box right here. So if you click anywhere inside the text box, you can enter your information. So once you enter your information, you might want to format the text within the box. So you can highlight it and you can select any one of these options right here. So you could change the font, you could change the font size, you can make it bold, italic, underline, change the color, highlight, insert a link. So these are all your options. So if you click outside of this box, then these options will not show. So the only way the options for you to change the font will be to click anywhere inside the box with like font or with like text. And you would be able to change the tech, the font or the size or any of these right here. So if you're happy, you you click outside of the box and now you have like your text within your box. So now I'm gonna move on to the third slide. So let's say, so this is a blank slide. So I don't have anything on here. So I will kind of want like a title. So I will go to like a text box right here, the text box option. So I'll click on this icon right here. It's gonna indicate it like, like a square with like a T in the middle. I'll click on that and I'll click anywhere within the, my slide. And it's gonna create like a text box. So I'll create like a title. So I'll change the size, change, change it to underline, and I could change it to, uh, let's see, I'll choose the align option right here, and I can align to center, and it's kind of small, so I'll make it bigger. Okay, so now I have the title to my slide right here. So let's say I want to add like a photo to my slide. So I could go to this option right here. It's kind of like an insert photo option. So it's kind of like a square with like a photo of like a mountain. So I'll click on it. And th these are the options of how I would uh, upload a photo. So if I want the first option, so upload a photo from my computer, I'll click on this. And I can locate like a photo on my computer and I can upload the photo like that. Or I could go to the second option, search the web. So I could search uh, any, anywhere on the web to locate like a photo and enter like that. Or if I have a photo in my Google Drive account, I'll select the option here and I'll insert the photo from Google Drive. Or if I have a photo from Google Photos, I'll select this option right here. Or if I have a photo and I know the URL already, I'll click on this option right here. And that last option will be camera. So if you already have like a camera on your device, you can use this option right here and you could take like a photo and you can insert that photo into your slide right here. For today, I'm gonna to use search the, the web. So click right here. And on the right-hand side of your screen, this should pop up and you should have the option of searching for a photo by using Google images. So I will locate the search bar right here near, near top, click anywhere inside, and I'll type in what I wanna look for. So I, I wanna look for puppies and I'll hit enter. And it's gonna locate the images for puppies. So let's say I want this image right here. So I'll click right here. And on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, there should be an insert option right here. I'll click insert. And it is gonna insert the image to my slide. So notice that it's like on the side, it's kind of big. So I, I might wanna resize it. So I'll select the image right here. It's gonna indicate it by like a blue line on the corners. 
So it says it's selected and will locate like one of these square boxes on the corners. And I'll click on it and resize it to the size that I want. So once I resize, um, I'm happy with the size, then I want to move it. So use my mouse, I'll click on it and I'll move it to anywhere I want. So notice that once I'm moving the image, like, um, like a red line like appears on your screen. So this kind of lets you know that your image is kind of aligned with everything else on the page. So this is kind of like aligned in the middle of the page. So I'm, I'm happy with that, but my title is not aligned. So I'll select my title and I'll select, change it to the middle. Okay, so now it's aligned. So now I'm happy with everything on this page. And that's how you would kind of insert an image to your slide. So I'm gonna to go to the next slide, the fourth slide, and it has a title right here. I'll add a title. And it's to the side. So I'll use this option right here, align. Click on that. And go align to the center. And it's aligned right here. And I'm happy with that. So I'll click anywhere outside the box. So I'll have a title and no content. So let's say I want to insert uh, a video to my slide. So I will go to the insert option right here, near the top left-hand corner of the screen. I'll click on insert, and these options should appear, and video is one of the options. So I'll click on video with my mouse, and this should appear on your screen. So you have three options. The first option is you could search YouTube and search for a video that you want to insert, and you can insert it, your video like that. The second option is by URL. So if you already have like a link to like a, U, a YouTube video, you will insert the link right here. And that's how you insert the video onto your slide. The third option is Google Drive. So if I select this, it's gonna search my Google Drive accounts to see what kind of videos I have on there. And if I do have videos, I can select, select that video and insert that video into my slide. So for today, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use the first option, which is search and search YouTube. So I'll type in my topic, then I'll hit the search button right here on the right-hand side, and it's gonna display my search results. So let's say I want to insert the first video right here. So I'll use my mouse, I'll click on it, and I'll go to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen right here, I'll hit select, and now, it inserted the video onto my slide. So I'll use my mouse, I'll click on it, I'll move it to the center if I like, or I can move it anywhere I want. It depends on what you think looks good. So I like this in the middle and I like the size, so I'm not gonna change that. And once the video is selected, there should be the video options on the right-hand side of your screen. So if you scroll down right here, you have the option of play on click. So once you're presenting and you've, you select this option, it'll play once you click on it. But if you click on anywhere in the box right here, you have other options. So the second option is play automatically. So once you present and you get to the slide, it will automatically play the video if you select this option. Or if you select to play manually, you could present and you will get to the slide, it will not play. You, it will only play once you select play. So let's say I want, let's see, play automatically. So now that's selected, I'll move on to the next option. So this video is like 10 minutes long. So let's say I only want like a small portion to play during my presentation. So I could change the time. So let's say I want to change it to five minutes and it'll end at six minutes. So this is very like convenient because let's say you want to play only like a small clip. You don't have to clip it yourself and you don't have to play the entire video, and you don't have to like play the video and like locate the part that you wanna play. So this kind of saves like a lot of time. After that, if I'm done, then I'm happy with this. I'll hit the X on the right-hand side of your screen right here, and it's gonna exit out. And that's how you would insert like a video from one of the various options. So a quick tip, if you are kind of presenting and you have a video on your slide, make sure to check the video first before you start your presentation because sometimes the video doesn't work, it won't load. And if you're presenting and you wanna play the video and it doesn't load, it kind of looks bad and you might want to kind of figure out what's going on. You might wanna to try to play the video and that kind of takes time from your presentation 
and that's kind of like a distraction. So your audience might kind of not pay attention to your presentation. So it, it kind of takes away from the main point of your presentation. So always check your video first before you present, because I've been to various presentations where they have, they have videos, but then the video doesn't work. And they spend like five minutes trying to play the video and it doesn't work and they move on. And like the, like the audience, they kind of lose the concept of what's in the video. Okay, so that's how you insert a video onto your slide. So let's see, I have four slides. So I'm gonna create one more slide. I'll go to the link right here. I'll click here and I'll create a new slide with, let's say, title only. So this is gonna be my fifth slide. So I'm gonna to go to title. I'm gonna type in the title right here. And, I'll, and I'm, I'm gonna create a chart. So I hit enter. And now I'm gonna show you how to insert a chart. So the easiest way would be to go to insert option right here on the top left-hand corner, hit insert, and you locate the chart option right here. So once you locate the chart option, you hover your mouse over it, and these are your options. So you could create a chart from scratch. You, you could create like a bar chart, a column chart, a line chart, or a pie chart. So you select one of these options. But the other option is you could insert a chart from Google Sheets. So Google Sheets is kind of like the spreadsheet platform by Google. So if you have a Google Sheets uh, made already and it already has like a chart, then you will select this option right here from Sheets. And once you select that option, it will get kind of locate all the charts within Google Sheets and you will select which chart do you want to insert. And you will choose that and that will insert the chart onto your slide. And once it is inserted, it is linked. So uh, whatever changes you make on the Google Sheets, it could be changed on your Google Slides by hitting the update option. But for today, I'm gonna to go over how to create a brand new chart. So you might be asking which option might be better. So if you already have a chart in Google Sheets, then you, you would use a chart from Google Sheets. But if you don't have one yet, you could always go to Google Sheets and create a chart there, or you could create a chart from here. So probably the easiest way would be to create a brand new chart from here if you don't already have a chart. So let's say I want a pie chart. So I'll select the pie option right here. So it is gonna create a brand new chart on my screen right here. So I'm gonna use my mouse. I'll move it to the center if, I, if it looks better. And I'll click outside of the chart. And this is a brand new chart. So none of the information within the chart is my information. So it's kind of like defaulted to like um, the default information. So if I wanna change this, I'll click on anywhere in the chart and it's gonna select the chart. And I'll go to the top right-hand corner of the chart. I'll locate like the half triangle right here. I'll click on that. And I'll locate the open source option, which is right here. So I'll click on this. And it's gonna bring me to a Google Sheets where the chart lives and where the data lives. So it's basically creating a brand new Google Sheets um, like file. And I could go in there and change the, my information and insert what I want. So I'll change it to, let's see, library, books. Okay, so that's how you will kind of change your data within Google Sheets. So if you do not know how to use Google Sheets, there are tutorials on how to use Google Sheets and they will kind of teach you how to enter in your information. But for today, I'm gonna to briefly go over how to like change the data within Google Sheets. So you will select one of these cells and I've done that already and I'll change the information on here and I could change the information here as well too. So once I change it, notice on the bottom, the chart changes. So let's say I changed this here already and I'm happy with my chart. So I'm gonna go back to the previous screen, which is my Google Slides uh, presentation, and I will locate the chart. So since it created a brand new Google Sheets file, it opened up like a new tab. I'll go back to like the previous tab. So now I'm back on my Google Slides presentation. I'm on my fifth slide, and here is the chart. So I did make some changes to the chart data, and notice that none of the data is changed. 
So you have to click on the update option, which is right here near the top of your chart. Click on that and it updated the chart. So it is linked to the other Google Sheets file. So whatever changes you make there, it will be changed here if you click on update. But let's say you don't want it to update. So you will click on anywhere in the chart. You go here, link option. You click on unlink. So once you click on unlink, any changes you make on the Google Sheets uh, file, it won't be linked to this Google Slides presentation. So you won't be able to get updates. Okay, so that's how you would create a chart in Google Slides. So now that you have learned how to kind of create a brand new presentation, you learned how to create a title page, you learned how to insert images, insert videos, insert a chart. Now you wanna save your presentation. So since I mentioned earlier, Google Slides is kind of like a web base. So everything is saved to your Google Drive account. Since you have to sign up for an account, everything is saved there. So if you go to the top of your, your screen right here and you locate this option right here, it says last edit was seconds ago. So it kind of automatically saves for you. So if you lose internet connection, there will be like a message telling you that there's something wrong and it is not saved to your account. So other saving options is, let's say you, you're happy with your slideshow presentation, you like that it's saved to your Google Drive account, but let's say you want like an offline version. So you would go to file, which is right here near the top left hand corner of your screen. You click on that and you have the option of download. So you go download and you have these options of downloading your slideshow presentation. So since it is defaulted to kind of like the Google Slides format, you could download this slideshow presentation to the Microsoft PowerPoint format, which is the first option right here. So once you click on this, it will download this slideshow presentation and it will convert it to Microsoft PowerPoint. So you could open it within a Microsoft PowerPoint and you could do your edits there as well too. If you want to download as a PDF and you want to send this presentation to someone else and you don't want them to edit the presentation, you would download it as a PDF document, which is right here. And you have all these other uh, options as well too. So that's kind of how you would download your slideshow presentation in various formats. And while we're on the topic of kind of downloading and storage, so right now, um, your if your slideshow presentations are saved in the Google Slides format, then they won't count towards your 15 gigabyte limit in Google Drive. But if you're watching this video after June 1st of 2021, that's gonna change. So all your files are gonna to count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. So no matter if it is in a Google Slides format or if it is in the Microsoft PowerPoint format, they're all gonna to count towards your 15 gigabyte limit after June 1st of 2021. But if you're watching this before June 1st of 2021, um, the Google Slides format slides, they do not count towards your 15 gigabyte limit. And earlier I mentioned, if let's say you have a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation file and you wanna upload it to your account and you wanna convert it, so there is this option right here. So let's see. You will go to top right-hand corner of your screen. You would select like um, this option right here. And you would go to manage your Google account. And let's see. Actually, they did change it. So I'm gonna go back. So as you can see, they change uh, or they up, update things very quickly. So certain options might be that not there. So I'll try to locate it later on today. So I'll move on to the next topic of sharing your presentation. So now that you've learned how to save your presentation and download it, you could uh, kind of share your presentation with someone else. So you will locate the share option right here on the right-hand corner of your screen. You click that and it will display the share options. 
So you could share it with people or groups. You could add their email addresses right here and you can hit done. Or you could get a link and share your presentation like that. So you will go to get the link option right here. It is restricted. So you could change it to anyone with a link and you could click on that as well. So now that I've selected that option, it created a link to my slideshow presentation. So here's the link. I could click copy the link and I could email it to like my boss. I could email it to my fellow coworkers or if I'm going to school to other students in my group and they could have access to my slideshow presentation. And now it says anyone with a link. But if you go to the right right here, it says anyone with a link has the viewer option. So they can view the slideshow presentation. If you click on it, you have more options. So you have viewer, you have commenter, or you have editor. So you can select uh, like this second option right here. So anyone with a link can comment on your slideshow presentation. Or if you select the third option right here for editor, anyone with a link can edit your slideshow presentation. So this is very helpful if you're working in a group and you want other people to have access and they could change things within your slideshow presentation. And all you have to do is hit done and that's it. So that's how you would share your slideshow presentation. So since you're sharing, you might uh, wanna make comments. So if you wanna comment on anything in the slide, you have to select it and you can select the comment option. So I've selected this um, chart right here. I'll locate the comment option right here, near top of the middle of your screen. I'll click on that. I'll type in my comment and I'll hit comment. And now this comment is here. So if there are a lot of comments within your Google Slides show presentation, you will locate the comment history, which is near the top right-hand corner of your screen right here. And you hit comment history and you can see all the options right here. So that is how you would comment on your slides within your slideshow presentation. So the next thing I'm gonna go over is differences between Google Slides and Microsoft PowerPoint. So they are both very similar. So both kind of creates like slideshow presentations, uh, but Google Slides is kind of like web-based. So you have to have an account. And once you have an account, everything is saved to your Google Drive account. For Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, you have the offline option and the online option as well too. So you have to create an account with uh, Microsoft and you could use Microsoft PowerPoint like that. Or let's say if you like go to the public library, they should have Microsoft PowerPoint already installed on the computer. So all you have to do is log onto the computer and you will work on Microsoft PowerPoint like that. And you will have to save your presentation file to your, your flash drive or your desktop. So it's kind of not like not automatically saved if you use like a desktop version. And another difference is um, Microsoft PowerPoint, it might cost you some money if you want to install on your device. But for uh, Google Slides, it is free because uh, you have to sign up for like a, like a Google account. So it's uh, no cost to you. So no cost for Google Slides, potential cost if you want to use Microsoft like PowerPoint. But there are ways to get uh, Microsoft PowerPoint for free as well too. But it, it depends on if you're like associated with like a school or not. Sometimes schools might give you like a free subscription. So it, it's really dependent on the, the institution. And a difference is uh, there might be certain options that are only available on Microsoft PowerPoint versus Google Slides. So certain options might not be available in Google Slides and you will have to use Microsoft PowerPoint to use all the options. So let's see. So that's like a difference between Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides. So now that you've learned all of this and you have your slideshow presentation, you might want to present now. So you would start your presentation by kind of locating the present option right here near the top right hand corner of your screen. And you could click present. And it's going to present your slideshow presentation. So you can move from slide to slide. If you use your mouse, you go to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. There should be a, like a number. So it's going to let you know which slide you're on. And if you click on the three dots right here, it will give you more options. So you have open speaker notes, turn on laser pointer, exit full screen, and all these other options as well too. If you want closed captioning, 
you can select this option right here for captions preference and click this one, toggle captions. And now you have captions on your screen. So whatever you say will display on the bottom of your screen right here. And you should be able to see that as well. So I'm going to disable that. Let's see. And you can turn on your like a laser pointer. So you could use this to point to certain objects on the screen. I'll go back here. I'll go click on open speaker notes. So speaker notes are uh, it's kind of like a section on the bottom of your slides where you can enter in like notes. So you don't have to look at physical notes um, like right in front of you, but you can look at like virtual notes within your presentation. And of course, once you're presenting, uh, the the people viewing your presentation, they will be not able to see your speaker notes if you enter in like a presentation mode or like a presenter mode. So they will be only be able to see the slides and not your notes. And I'm gonna exit out right here. And where would you enter your speaker notes? So the location for your speaker notes is right below your slide, so right here. So you can enter in your notes right here. And once you're presenting, you could go into presenter mode and it's going to display your slides, but not the speaker notes. And let's say you don't want to type your speaker notes and you have like a microphone on your computer. So you would go, let's see, you would go to tools right here near the top of your screen and you could type, uh, select voice type speaker notes. So this is going to activate the microphone on your de device and you will click on the microphone right here and you should be able to see the speaker notes being typed on your screen right now. So it should be typed on the bottom right here. So whatever I'm saying, it is typed right here. So, so today you all learned how to create a basic slideshow presentation using Google Slides. So I'm gonna exit out of that and all of what I said, it is right here. So that's how you would enter in your, look automatically uh, you type in your speaker notes without actually typing okay so that is my presentation on google slides if you want more help with google slides there are a couple of options so you might want to go to our website sfpl.org and here it is on your screen you will go to research and learn which is right here near the middle top part you will click on that and this should appear and you will go to e-learning, which is right here. It's kind of indicated by like a person with a light bulb in their head. And you will click on that. So it should bring you to the e-learning page. So these are the various platforms that the library subscribes to. And some of them might be able to help you with Google Slides or any other like uh, software as well too. So if you scroll down, there are a couple of options. So the first option is LinkedIn Learning. So this was uh, formerly uh, lynda.com. So if you've already used lynda.com in the past, it's gonna look very similar. It's just like the branding is a little bit different because um, they've changed the name to LinkedIn Learning. So a lot of the content will still be the same. And they have like over 16,000 like courses where you can watch on demand. So you could uh, search for like a Google Slides course and you can watch that. You could pause it, you can come back to it later on as well. So it, it's, it's up to you. So the second option is Udemy right here. So it's gonna be very similar to LinkedIn Learning. So it's kind of on-demand e-learning platform where you could find like tutorials on various like subjects like Google Slides, Google Sheets, Microsoft PowerPoint, or like Adobe Photoshop. And you will have to click here and you will be able to log in with your library card, your PIN number, and you will have to use a Google account or a Microsoft account. And you will be able to access this platform. And the last thing would be Gale courses. So this is a little bit different from like the on-demand platforms that I mentioned earlier. So this is kind of like a, a online non-credit courses where there is a start date, there's an end date, there's weekly assignments, there is a professor. So you would choose this if you want something more structured. So they have various topics here as well too, it's like computer classes and non-computer classes as well too. And if you're interested, you click here, you'll sign up with your account and you should pay attention to like the start date because there is a start date and there is an end date. And uh, that's pretty much like all the pr 
e-learning platforms that you might use if you want to improve like Google Slides or other like, computer-based um, software. And all of these, you would need to have a San Francisco Public Library card. So if you want a San Francisco Library card or you don't have one yet, you could sign up for one if you meet the requirements. And all you have to do is go to support and services and go to get a library card here and you click on that. And there is a description right here about what the requirements are. And if you meet any of these requirements, you could go to apply online, which is right here. And you should be able to fill out your information right here. And you can apply for a San Francisco public library card. So if you already have a San Francisco public library card, but you don't remember the number or you don't remember your pin number and you need to reset or your library card is expired. So you could contact the library. So you could look at the time if we're opened, you could go to a chat now, you could chat with someone. You could call us at 415-557-4400 and someone will be able to help you and reset your pin or uh, if it's expired, they will ask you more information to get your library card active. Okay, so that's pretty much my presentation on Google Slides. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.